All right, so let's talk about Unit 6. Um, as I've said in every unit uh, intro that I've done so far, the most important thing that you can do to prepare for um, the AP exam is to go through those released multiple choice questions from the secure AP biology exams. Your teacher has this document. If she doesn't know what we're talking about, tell, tell, tell the teacher that it's in Canvas. Um, for each unit, there's a document of released secure multiple choice questions. You need to take the time to go through each of those questions related to unit six and make sure you know what the right answer is and why the wrong answers are wrong. You can't take that document out of class because it's secure. It's a secure document, but it's very, very important. Even if you have to come in before or after school to look at that document, make sure that you go through those questions. It's also really important to look through some sample free response questions. So I have linked right here four or five um, free response questions off of previous AP exams uh, related to unit six. These documents include both the actual question and the scoring guidelines that were used to grade the answers. Again, like I've done in every unit, I would recommend that you first try to answer the question without looking at the scoring guidelines and then take the scoring guidelines and essentially grade your own paper and figure out what you got right and what you still need to know. In addition, next I would ask you to look through the slides that come after this intro slide. Um, there's, vi there's linked videos throughout the presentation. So if there's a topic that you're really, really unfamiliar with, take the time to watch the screencast, become familiar with the topics. And then if you have any additional time, I've linked the complete set of Unit 6 student notes right here. So here are the most important things to know for Unit 6. First of all, make sure that you can carry out and interpret Mendelian crosses with Punnett squares. Make sure you can do both a monohybrid cross and a dihybrid cross. Make sure you can calculate the probability of obtaining offspring with a particular genotype or phenotype from a trihybrid cross or a larger cross. Make sure you can recognize and explain some examples of non-Mendelian inheritance patterns. Some that you ought to be familiar with are gene linkage. There's almost always a question about gene linkage on the AP exam. Incomplete dominance, co-dominance, multiple alleles, and also make sure you can explain polygenic inheritance. Um, additionally, be able to complete and interpret a Punnett square for a sex-linked cross, whether we're talking about X linkage or Y linkage. Next, make sure that you can use a pedigree and that you can determine the mode of inheritance of a trait from the pedigree. There's uh, all kinds of pedigree practice problems included later within this presentation. Make sure that you can describe the purposes of and the components of an operine. Make sure that you can describe some methods of gene regulation used by eukaryotic cells. And make sure that you can explain the purposes of both methylation and acetylation. And then finally, make sure that you can discuss some of the mechanisms involved in epigenetics. Know what epigenetics is. Know how it works. Know how it can affect an individual. All right, that's it for our Unit 6 intro.